Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel with me Monique. If you're new to this channel, I upload one to two videos in a week about style, travel, mindful shopping and everything in between. So if you're interested, please don't forget to click subscribe down below and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Today's video, I'm going to talk about the most worn bags of 2020. I'm sure everyone would agree that 2020 is one of the most challenging years of our lives. It was definitely not easy, but also it has taught um, me a lot of things, especially about patience and appreciating the simpler things in life. Due to the pandemic, I was stuck in Indonesia for the most part of the year um, so I was stuck with the only four bags that I carried there so this video should be pretty easy for me uh, but who am I kidding because I think the most worn bags for me in 2020 is actually this freebie tote that I got from Rick Owens when I purchased their boots it's just a simple gray tote which I carried with me to Indonesia and I always carry totes with me because you know for you would need it for shopping or if you're overweight at the airport you always need a tote because you can always like move things to your tote so I always have a tote with me and this came really really handy when I was stuck there i started self-isolation in mid-march and the only place that i would go is the grocery store downstairs or the pharmacy um you know downstairs in my apartment building so this came with me all the time you know a few times in a week so this was literally actually my most worn bags probably into 2020 but this is not exciting we're going to talk about other things because you know prior to march um I was still going out and about so like I said I was stuck there until August M most of 2020 I was stuck with only four bags and I managed just fine the first bag that I used the most in 2020 of course would be my Longchamp Le Pliage this is in the medium size it's in black with the um, brown leather handle I've been carrying this as my personal bag for every travel for the past two years so this definitely came with me and it came in handy as well because when I was in Indonesia up till February I was editing my YouTube videos a lot and doing a lot of work on my laptop in coffee shops so um, I would carry this bag because this was the only bag um, that I had with me that would fit my laptop. So this really really came in handy for 2020 uh, The next bag that I wore the most in 2020 is my Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire, which I carry with my um, Strap that I purchased separately from Louis Vuitton. So I carry it as a crossbody bag This even though this is small you see that this is like a small size. It actually fits a lot of things Maybe I should do like a video showing you how much that can fit in this bag but definitely it can fit my wallet, my um, phone and you know little things like lipstick or keys and stuff like that. This I carried a lot as well because it is easy. It's a crossbody bag and when I go to places you know like a market or antique market or you know even during COVID uh, when I had to go to the mall and buy a few things, I would carry this because it would ha make my hands free and also it's canvas. I was, um, in the beginning of COVID, I was really afraid of carrying my leather bags because, you know, I sanitize when I get home and I don't want to ruin my leather bags, you know, with the sanitizer and all that. So this came in handy as well. The third bag that I wore the most in 2020 is my Chanel Medium Double Flap in black this i carried with me to indonesia so i did um i did have the chance to wear it quite often you know especially in january and february but i really didn't wear it at all from march to august it's in caviar so it is kind of hardy but i still you know didn't want to ruin the leather by having to sanitize it you know and all of that because i was really 
paranoid um, at that time and the fourth bag that I wore the most in 2020 as you can see is right next to me I actually wore this bag quite often because I actually told myself to uh, wear this bag whenever I can if the situation or the event allows me to carry this bag I would do so you know uh, if it's not raining outside and if it's like safe enough or if it's just like a short period of time like I'm having like a nice lunch outside I would carry this bag I wouldn't carry this bag if I have to do like a day of errands and so yeah I made a note to myself to actually whenever I can try to carry this bag I don't want this working to be one of those bags that just stays in the box and comes out only a few times a year I want it to be well um, loved in a bag that I cherish I enjoy and I don't like you know I don't want to be too afraid to carry this bag of course you know i have to see what kind of events or what kind of like weather and situation of the day that i carry this bag but yeah i definitely make a note of trying to carry this whenever i can since i returned to kenya i hardly go out but the few times that i went out i carried this bag a few times and when i get home i don't spray it with my sanitizer i just leave it out for maybe a day or two i don't touch it after i get home i leave it out and i wipe it with this um microfiber fabric that i got from chanel and just to clean it that's how i carry it and that's how i take care of it during this pandemic okay since i returned to kenya and i have access to all my other bags i been carrying this bag actually i've been gravitating towards this bag the most because this is great for running errands and also this was great for those like safari staycation trips that i took uh, because it fits a lot and it goes well with a lot of safari outfits because of the color and the shape but if it's my camera it fits my phone it fits everything else you know mask uh, sanitizer and it's also very comfortable to wear uh, as a crossbody it is very very comfortable this one is from old Celine this is the old Celine uh, that was designed by Phoebe Philo when Phoebe Philo was still the designer for Celine it's a very roomy bag and it's a beautiful beautiful uh, leather and I love the color. I will actually do a video maybe of what fits in this bag if you're interested I will do that in the future for you guys. I highly recommend this bag I actually highly recommend any of the old Celine bags um, if you come across them in the pre-owned websites because they're very very affordable I got this from fashion file I think around two years ago and it was I think around $650 and I think retail this was like maybe around three thousand dollars back in the day if you're looking for bags that don't really scream logos and you don't want people to know what you're carrying I would say old Celine have really 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 good selection and they're really affordable in the pre-owned websites okay guys those are the five bags that I wore the most in 2020 let me know in the comment section down below which bag that you were the most in 2020 and I hope you enjoyed today's video please like and comment down below so we can continue the conversation thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one bye <laughs>